In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. We gather this beautiful day to give thanks to the Lord for his presence among us, and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, who through the preaching of St. Francis Xavier won many peoples to yourself, grant that the hearts of the faithful may burn with the same zeal for the faith and that the Holy Church may everywhere rejoice in an abundance of offspring. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, but a very little while and Lebanon shall be changed into an orchard and the orchard be regarded as a forest. On that day, the deaf shall hear the words of a book and out of gloom and darkness. And the eyes of the blind shall see. The lowly will ever find joy in the Lord and the poor will rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the tyrant will be no more and the arrogant will have gone. All who are alert to do evil will be cut off. Those who mere word condemns a man, who ensnares the fender at the gate, leave the just man with an empty claim. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of the house of Jacob, who redeemed Abraham. Now Jacob shall have nothing to be ashamed of, nor shall his face grow pale. They shall keep my name holy, my, uh, they shall reverence the Holy One of Jacob and be in awe of the God of Israel. Those who err in spirit shall acquire understanding, and those who find fault shall receive instruction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, the Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all days of my life that I may gaze in the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be south-hearted. Wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus passed by, two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said to him. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done for you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread word of him through all that land. The Gospel of the Lord. Can you see me? Yes. What color vestment am I wearing? What color are those trees back there? Green. You know those two blind men in that story, before they met Jesus, they would not be able to see what you see so easily. You know, in life sometimes we forget all the blessings that God has given us and we take them for granted we take the fact that we can see, and we can hear, and we can walk for granted. But not everyone can do that. So we need to be grateful for the gifts God gives us, and never take them for granted. But we must be especially careful that we never take other people for granted, or God for granted. So be happy this day that you can see me, you can hear me, and that you have people in your lives who love you, and a God who loves you as well. And now let us stand as we gather our prayers to our Heavenly Father. With confidence in God's love for us, we now present our needs. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis and all the clergy, that they help us live out God's word, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all students at our school, that we practice being patient, kind, and generous with one another during this Advent season, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the sick, that they are comforted by loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those that have died, that they are in peace in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our second graders who will be receiving first reconciliation this Friday, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the eighth graders who will be taking the entrance exam the next two weekends, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all Good. our personal intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Good and gracious God, we thank you for always listening to our prayers. We ask that you grant what is best for us through Christ our Lord.
Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, these offerings we bring you in commemoration of St. Francis Xavier, and grant that as he journeyed to distant lands out of longing for the salvation of souls, so we too, bearing effective witness to the gospel, may with our brothers and sisters easily hasten towards you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For Christ assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Anthony, St. Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. our spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be.
Let us pray. May your mysteries, O God, kindle in us that fire of charity with which St. Francis Xavier burned for salvation of souls, so that walking ever more worthily in our vocation, we may obtain with him the reward you promise to those who labor well in your harvest. Through Christ our Lord. I'd like to thank everyone who helped with our liturgy today, our wonderful choir and music ministry, our sixth grade servers, our fourth grade lectors, and our fourth grade for planning this liturgy. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a wonderful weekend. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass ascended. Go in peace.